Uh, very happy about the win. Uh, to me, it was another team win. That's been very big for us, and that's sort of been the mantra since uh, about three Sundays ago. Uh, it also, I thought, was a program win about three Sundays ago. The, the guys, and some people have heard this because they've been around me, but I'm one of those guys that like, to, from my teaching background, to be a little bit repetitive. Uh, I thought it was uh, uh, another program win because we decided to live what we talked about. Now, going into the game, I knew we'd face the Tulane team uh, on film. Was was very good offensively and defensively. I thought they played eleven man football on defense, and it was they did it tonight. Uh, Trent Mackey's one of the best linebackers in the league, uh, so I knew that coming the game. Ryan Griffin would be is is the second most experienced quarterback in the league behind uh, K. So uh, we knew we'd have a hands full. Uh, Mark Hudson is is a really good football coach. He's been in a long time, and you know if I had a vote, I think Mark should get that job. Whatever they're doing down there, and give it to Mark. He's got a, a tough job ahead of him, keeping those guys to play. So, uh, and uh, I think a lot of him. So, but I was very happy for our players uh, going in the locker room, seeing those faces uh, after the first half. We had to grind it, and we grinded it, and we're, and we're, as a group, we were able to pull it out. So I was very proud of that. Uh, very proud of the win. Uh, keep battling. Uh, it was good to get back home and down at Ficklin. Um, Good to get back uh, in Greenville, not have to worry about travel. So, uh, any questions? Far away. Coach, we're in the first quarter. Tom Otter didn't make sports. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you? Hey, hey, what's up, boys? Towards the end of the first quarter, there was a big fumble. They were turning the ball to the five yard line. Uh, Tom had a seven point lead, and I feared that that may be a big momentum shift in their favor. Defense comes out, holds them three straight, and they end up with three points instead of seven. Kind of got the feeling that set the tone defensively for the rest of the game. Could you comment on I, I agree with that. I think, and, and I, I can tell you, it started Memphis. Uh, we had a, a tough first half offensively, and we're going in the half down, and the kids were excited, and they tell me, Coach, we got it. Same thing happened at Navy uh, last week. We got a personal foul, gave them continuous downs. Um, I was a little bit hot and bothered probably, and that's probably a nice word. And the guys told me, Coach, we got you. And then uh, tonight was the same way. Defense coach, we're okay. We got a chance to play again. So that's a good mentality, good mentality to to have and develop. Uh, I told them probably I think it was Thursday meeting, it, and I think we're we're, we're becoming a pretty uh, mentally tough outfit. And um, that that was a big play for our team. Uh, our defense has progressed each week, and they still have room to grow. But Brian Mitchell, John Wiley, Dwayne Price, Mark Yellock done a great job getting those guys ready, the mentality. And then within the group, those guys have done a great job holding each other accountable. Coach, a lot of play action on offense, so seemingly a little bit more than what you guys usually do. Uh, you got a lot out of it. Was that anything yeah. that you saw in the game plan or watching film or anything uh, that you decided to go a little more on that side? On our side? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, Lincoln felt, you know, if we could establish a run game. And they, they did a great, good job. I mean. Uh, Trent's a good football player, but we wanted to establish a run and thought we could have some some holes possibly to Lance on the crossing routes and to Danny on the delayed routes and even possibly to Zico sometimes on a tight end spot. So we liked to uh, – I'm sure Lincoln and those guys wanted to incorporate that into the game plan. And, um, you know, so that was that was the major reason why more play action. And then Trent's a good football player, trying to get him to bite up and maybe get behind him. And it worked sometimes. It worked a few times. One – to a couple times of Bowman, uh, those couple times of Zico, that, that was trying to get those guys because they were aggressive uh, defensively. I think it's a mood of progression. I think it's a mood of uh, improving. Anytime you have some success, I think it aids to the confidence factor, which is for young people, even for older people, I think is very critical. But the, the young men having some success, uh, it helps with the confidence. So, by no means, and anyone in that locker room did not. We know we not have. We have not reached the pinnacle. We have some goals that we're uh, within the team that we've set, and uh, we're making progress. So, I would say the mood of uh, of the outfit is is progression, and it's progressing and progression, and we just got to have to continue that. Stay focused. Uh, make sure we take care of the little things, uh, uh, and all things are important. Uh, that's from treatment and taking care of their bodies. Uh, I think right now the work of Coach Connors and his group is paying off for us. We're able to get guys back a little quicker than we have. And so I'm happy about that. 
Coach, after such an emotional win last weekend in Indianapolis, were you concerned a little bit coming to this game that they might play a little flat or? I was more. I was concerned uh, with knowing that we had to rebound and uh, play a team that, after watching film on them Sunday night and then all day Monday before the presser and then Sunday afternoon, that we were facing a team that played. Was gonna, they're gonna be pretty good, even though the record didn't show. We watched them versus UTEP, and it was tough. But Syracuse game, Tulsa game. I knew we'd be, be facing that, so I knew we had to be at a different mindset. The Navy game was emotional from last year and all that, and then up there in their place, last field goal, the Mighty Pirate blocked it. Um, uh, so, yeah, it was some emotion, but that what, that's what makes, and we asked about the progression, the progression of able to handle an emotional win, come back and be consistent. I think one of the teams is one of the things, and one of the things I would like the program to be about, our program is to be a team that you know consistently each week what you can count on. Uh, as a coach, um, and 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 as everyone that is involved with the program, you know, each week you get this. So, it was good to see them bounce back. Tough half, regrouped at halftime. Coaches made adjustments, finished off, and I thought we played well in the second half. Uh, you hold to a 132 yards passing, sacking four times. Just talk a little bit about your capacity. Uh, that's again goes to the coaches doing a great job, and the ki the young men are doing a great job of absorbing what they're trying to teach. Uh, from skiing, uh, uh, and and then when it comes to the pass rush, here's great pass rush is great pass coverage. Great pass coverage means great pass rush. Works hand in hand. So we're able to get pressure, but the coverage is provided. The stats came from great coverage. So uh, um, that's just the progression of the, of the defense. We gave up some third down plays too that we thought we should have had. You know the long run there to an end, but. Um, I thought Ryan Griffin and uh, from film, I was I was worried about Griffin a little bit, not a little bit, a lot of bit. Experienced, has made plays for four years in this league. Uh, has done a good job for him, so I was worried about him. And the, the defense and all the credit goes to the coaches and the players. Uh, I was proud of them. The, the the pass interference call on Emmanuel in the first half it looked like he had good position. It looked like he got a little upset with the call. Did, did they offer any kind of explanation on, on that? No, I just ask him how they were doing. Uh, no, you know, I just thought it was a bang bang call, but those guys did a good job. And uh, uh, but I thought it was, you know, you can see the replay at home. You know, they show it again. So especially then you hear the crowd going, you know. So but it's okay. I don't know if maybe he had hit him before. I don't. I'm not sure. You know, I, I watch it tomorrow, but. You know, I always think all calls should go in favor of the East Carolina Pirates. I'm sure every coach does, but I think every call should go in favor of the Pirates and, and against the other team. Well, how much of a factor was the win today? It was, pretty, it was a big factor. It decided, especially in the beginning of the game, uh, direction uh, of the, if we lost the toss, uh, having a win behind us. Uh, but I thought it affected it a little bit, you know, not a little bit, but more in the first half than the second. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I mentioned after the game, special teams, are, I take special teams very seriously. We work on special teams probably more than anybody on, in the country, probably equal to what Coach Beamer does. And I think that's probably from my special teams coordinator background. Uh, I believe in the defensive or coverage teams are there to give our defense great field position, and our offensive or return teams are there to give our offense great field position. Um, are we there yet? No, but we've done some positive things. Well, we had two punts, and we didn't give our defense very good field position. So uh, we had to uh, uh, give uh, somebody else a chance to do it. And uh, we love Ben, uh, but we love McNaughton too. So he works as hard as Ben in practice, so he deserved the opportunity. So, and he came out and did a pretty good job, I think. One more question. Can you kind of evaluate without looking at tape this point, just your initial impression of what the offensive line did today? Not really. I thought we had some good things. I, I thought we did some good things uh, in certain Doug, and that that that'll be another insertion uh, that help develop continuity. But you know, I was just I was glad to see that unit play together for an entire game. You know, then we got some young people in there late, uh, Taylor Hudson and those guys. And but uh, um, I'm looking forward to watching the film on them. When we talk this week, I'll let you know how they did. Josh Graham, WZMB. Uh, 
Hey, Josh. How you doing? You said that fast. What are your early impressions on Southern Miss next week? Should be a pretty big game. Ah, oh, man, I haven't thought about it. I know uh, Larry's done a great job. Uh, I got a chance to watch him versus Navy. Uh, experienced quarterback, talented. Uh, but I'm enjoying my, my wife and my and my kids. And, uh, and from this point on, I'll think about heavily Southern Miss net tomorrow, but Erlene gets rough from here on that. <laughs> Uh, some were designed calls and designed calls by Lincoln. Uh, some was Dominique trying to make sure we got some or had some workable downs. Uh, Dominique it, it can do equal, uh, equal uh, both equally well, throw and run. So it was good to see that, and he made a big run for us there. And I think in the first half, and and uh, had a, a touchdown there, uh, one or two, one. So uh, it was good. And Lincoln had some design runs in there to. Uh, to feature that, and some of it was uh, Dominique trying to make a play. How big of a play was Magazine's interception in the second or third quarter? I thought it was a big momentum uh, change for us. Mags is that type of player that you coach very, very seldom that he's always there to make a play. North Carolina State last year, uh, another one early this year. You know, he'll he's that type of guy, and that comes from being a CK, a coach's kid. He's involved and he gets and understands concepts. Uh, he can he can see the whole picture, and you can see him reading that thing before it happened. It was a, a blitz, or a stunt outside stunt blitz by Brian, and he studied film and made it. And that was a big I thought big play for us and a big momentum change for us.